<laughs> and, and you and I have nothing to do. You and I are, so, are supposed to pretend that we're concerned about the homeless. Oh, look, 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 look. Well, yank, yank. I don't give a right slice about them. I'm fed up with them. Here's what you can try. Next time you see the guy standing on the corner with that cardboard sign, I will work for food. You know the guy's been out there every day now for three years. Lucrative location. Won't you pull over? Open your car door. Say, hey, fella, I see your sign there. You'll work for food. I got an acre of land that needs clearing off. Hop in. He won't get in. I know. There's a guy a few blocks from my house. Same corner every morning, almost for three months. Getting on my nerves, really. So one morning when traffic wasn't too bad, I pulled over. He had this sign that says, I will work for food. I offered this guy an onion to paint my house. He, he gave me the finger. So the homeless can be rude. You know. Hell, it was a Vidalia. You know. You see, now all this happened, listen, now you just have to trust me on this. All this happened beginning in 1983, and let me explain that to you. And you go to the library at the archives and look this up. In the summer of 1983, USA Today did a two-part cover story on the, on the shortage of fiber in the American diet. This is a true thing. And they concluded that if we you and I didn't start eating fiber morning, noon, and night, we was all going to get colon cancer and be dead by next Thursday. <laughs> and like the blind sheep we have become, we just fought that hook, line, and sinker. And we all got scared to death to eat normal anymore. We had to have that fiber. Everything had to be all natural. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Had to have it. That's why we can't get them done in this country no more. We're <laughs> all day. While, while we're on the crap of the Japanese are building cars. In Japan, they just shit once a week. That's where they got that word bonsai. But then, 